Elcom Contemporary Pop Choir is a exciting and innovative uh, choral ensemble that we have here at Leeds College of Music. Well, the choir originally did um, a small part of the concert with Mark when he came uh, in October of last year and Mark had a lot of really wonderful things to say about the choir and about the way that we arranged things and the way we approached his music. Um, and so when the opportunity came for us to do the two gigs at the Leeds Town Hall and the Royal Festival Hall, um, we were back on board. My role in the project has been primarily as an arranger. Early on in the, in the project, Mark sent me a list of songs that he really wanted to do, and so I set to work arranging those for the students. A lot of the students are, are, are ones who've played before in the New Music Collective, an ensemble that I run, so I know them well. I know their, their skills and their strengths, and so it's been really good to try and arrange those songs, bespoke songs, really, for them. Now that we're in the kind of end stage of the project, my role is a, as a musical director, really, so I'm doing a lot of the conducting, and um, steering the ship, as it were. Well, I have to say, actually, I thought with a lot of musicians in, in, in my time, in 35 odd years, music, when I've been making music, this is one of the best things that I've ever done. The musicians, the choir, um, the arrangements, I've just been completely spot on. It's been a real treat. When I kind of decided to do the project, I wanted to do something a bit different and do kind of torch songs and sort of sad love ballads and things. I didn't realize I can, can, I can I didn't, I didn't, there was so many of the songs that I didn't know and it was kind of a, a daunting thing to kind of learn the words but I didn't have to worry because about the music at all because as soon as, as, soon as I came along to the, to the first rehearsal and I heard the standard of the music and the arrangements and, and Damien's arrangements and I just thought well this is, this is, this is the, the easy part I feel, I feel confident and I feel secure. How many times must a heart stand Doing a project like this, what everybody needs to do is be ultra professional and so it's been a perfect thing for the students to do from that point of view, that they've got to be organised, they've got to have learned their music, but I think they knew straight away that this was you know, a pretty special occasion really and so they were definitely inspired. It's been a real privilege for me, I think, to work to work with people of such amazing calibre. I'm sure I'm sure most of the people here are going to go on to amazing amazing careers, and you know everybody's going to be involved in music in, in some way. And it's it's great to see a college turning out such a really high standard of uh, musicians. I think, as I said to somebody yesterday, I've no worry about anybody else. I'm the weakest link, really. So, you know, so, and, and I'm, I'm really just the, the hired singer for the night, you know. It's, every, it's, it's about everybody else and the musicians here. Um, it, it's, it's their night, really. And I, I'm just the singer who's singing the songs. <laughs> More than anything, this project embodies the, the spirit of innovation which is so important to us at Leeds College of Music and also the, the spirit of interdisciplinary collaboration. You have pop singers working alongside classical musicians, working alongside jazz musicians and all of those different things, all of those different disciplines have different ways of working. So I think it's interesting for the students to be, uh, to be exposed to that.
Well, the whole point of being a musician studying at a conservatoire is that you want to enter the industry, you want to be a professional musician, whether that's writing or playing or a mixture portfolio career. So these students have already been performing, they've been performing in, in, in venues such as, as our own venue here at Leeds College of Music. I don't know if they've played in the Royal Festival Hall before, but what an amazing opportunity for them to go straight into one of the country's best performance venues, really, and in a fully professional situation. Thank you to everybody. I must say some of the greatest musicians I've ever worked with.